What's up guys, Ben with Adventure Hobby Passion. Back doing another video. Keith's always working ahead of time, but you know, gotta keep the grind going. So yeah, let's just jump into the time lapse of ripping door panels off and everything. We're most likely just today, this first video this first part of the video, just doing the doors and speaker and sound detonating in the doors. If we get the doors done, then we're gonna take the entire interior of the car out and do the uh, sound matting sound deadening mat on the floor everywhere in the trunk on the side pillars and everything get the most sound deadening we can but I think the doors are going to be the most of the problem that I get so we're going to do the doors first and that way we get good speakers too so Keith just undid the undid the speaker when we were first starting the video so yeah let's just jump right into the time lapse mm -hmm. So the camera died for time lapse. We got the lights set up. Those are just lights from the trailer. But we got this all sound matted. It's definitely not the be done the best job. There's like, missing spots, but you know it's just, it's gonna be a ten times better um, than it was. Cause let me come out here. I don't know if this is gonna do any justice. And then we'll jump to the other side. And this is the other side that has none. It's a lot more solid, so definitely, definitely should mount, definitely denton some sound. Um, and then we're going to definitely later, we'll take out all the interior and do it all over the floor. Uh, really nothing on the trunk that we can do. Uh, and the trunk on the inside, there's a ton. I've seen a lot of things that says, do that, that'll make it a lot. Uh, I personally think the doors are going to be the best for making the music sound better and obviously newer speakers. All right guys, so it is the next day and it's really windy outside, so hopefully the audio is not too bad. But these, we got these uh, heat shrink solder connections that we're gonna use. We used butt connectors last night. Just uh, to test them. Just, just to test the speaker, but we got the speaker all in and good to go. Um, and then we're gonna use the heat gun. So, cause we, were, it went on, we didn't really wanna use the heat gun last night because it is somewhat loud. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start taking this door panel off while Keith hurries and re-fixes all those and gets rid of the butt connectors and heat shrinks everything so it's a really good connection. But yeah, let's jump to the time lapse of taking that door off.
All right, guys, a little update. We got quite a bit of it sound detonated. We are, I still got to do down there all the way across. And I got to do the middle right here to like there ish. As you can see, maybe right there. Yeah. And then also update on the other side that Keith's working on. We'll walk over there for him is he's got the door panel pretty much on but yeah he's gonna put that on put the trim back on and he'll be done it was and this one's all sound matted definitely much much better this door it's not even done all the way and it is still let me find a spot that's not <laughs> can't find one but yeah it's definitely going to make a huge difference. And as you can see on time lapse, it's taking a long, long time. But yeah, that's the update. We're going to keep wrecking it out. Guys, we are all sound matted. It is definitely not the best job ever. You look down in there. We decided to put one there just because I had some extra. Ooh, that's a good view. But all the way down, as far as I can go, with my hand. Um, and then also injury update. Keith, let's uh, let's see your injuries. Fat finger, skinny finger. I need to lose five pounds for that one. He freaking stabbed himself with a pick. with a pick, and then I uh, got my arm cut by sticking my arm in the door and trying to push that sound mat in, and just slice my arm right there. But yeah, we're gonna start wiring up the driver's side door, and then we're gonna put it back together and test the, it again, and then we'll go to the passenger rear door. And I don't even know how we're gonna take off that. I'll have to figure that out. So yeah, let's go to wiring. All right guys, so coming up with another update. We got an easy up up or whatever you wanna call it, big shade thing. Uh, and we got this side, the driver's side done all the way. Dyno matted, new speaker, new tweeter, all wired up, good to go. To Keith did test it. And then we'll come around to the third door, the final door, and it is all dyno matted. It's definitely been getting better as I go. So. Yeah, that one's really good. In my opinion, that's probably the best. I might later take that door and this door back off and re dyno mat them. Just dyno mat over it or fill up the gaps again and get it done a little better. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and throw the speaker in this one, button this door up. We don't know if we're going to go ahead and go try to fix that one today. We're going to do some research on how to get to that. We might fix that tonight because it is getting blazing hot out here. All right, so yeah, we're just going to go and get this done. We'll catch you in the next update. All right, guys, so we are going to real quick clean air, all the tools up real quick, and then we're going to go on a short little drive to test the sound dentner on the freeway. Um, and then we're going to do some research while we're waiting for it to cool down of how to do that fourth speaker. I do have a bunch more sound dentner, so I'm definitely going to sand out that, and then eventually maybe take all the seats out and everything and sound dent the whole bottom. But all in time, hopefully in this video we'll get that speaker done and sound that and that. So yeah, we'll catch you later. Alright guys, so we are back that next night because it's not freaking hot. And we're, there's the trunk. I'm just chilling inside the back seat of my car. We did take the back seat out. It's back there. Race car mode activated. Yeah, race car mode. We're freaking dumping all the way. But this is the nice cavern that you can definitely hear through. Yeah, it's so, it's so freaking bad. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and dyno mat all this, sound mat, whatever. You, um, this panel, so it, 
doesn't vibrate with the, the door if we're bumping really hard. We're also gonna go ahead and dyno mat this. I was watching a professional video on how they were doing it, and they also dyno matted out here so it didn't vibrate this because it is bolted to it. Uh, Keith's gonna go over there and do the wiring for it. The Get the stuff. Get, yeah, the boring stuff. We are not going to time lapse this because it's really hard to place to get into and it's going to be getting dark soon. We need to get this done so uh, we can drive our car to work. All right, so catch you uh, in the next update. All right, guys, so I totally forgot to film the outro, but we did get this back speaker done on this inside, as you can, you can hear. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But yes, all four speakers are in. It's actually been much, much later. We're in January of 2021. This is back in August. They replaced all the speakers, but they are great. They're do sounding great. I have yet to, to do the uh, sound matting on the bottom of the car to strip the entire interior out. Um, you know, life's been crazy busy and everything. So yeah, I highly recommend putting your sound deadening in. If you're gonna be taking tearing your car this far down to put speakers in, put sound deadening in. It is highly worth it. It's cheap. It doesn't make your car heavier. You're not going to notice really anything except it's going to be, it'll sound better. Thing. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. It was a lot longer than I was hoping. But, you know, it was like four solid days to replace all these speakers in here. So, yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe. But the biggest thing on my channel, go out and go find your passion.